Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail, and in this episode we continue our Tennessee Trails videos, and we are riding Royal Blue today. We wanted to thank our partners and sponsors for being on board with us, thank you. So after riding some outlaws on the first day, we decided to get out and ride Royal Blue Trails. We access Trail 27 to enter the Royal Blue area and trails at a gated entry at the end of the parking lot for Ride Royal Blue. This gate is not 24-7, but there's plenty of places to get out onto the trails any time of day or night. And what's great is you can ride Royal Blue trails any time of night. We'll have some night footage for you as well, probably a shorter one since it was really muddy but fun. Take note that this side of the mountain does not get much sun this time of year. And as you go around the ridge line, you will see that there are some very slushy and icy areas. And others just will be plain old packed dirt, frozen, but not muddy. So just make sure that when you're going around the corner, you take it easy and you know what kind of conditions you're going to run into before you hit it at full speed. There are plenty of little off ramps and chutes to explore. And as you can see, Dante always finds the mud and the ice which he had a great time playing in. For Royal Blue, the regulations are during hunting season, November to January, you do have to wear an orange vest while you're outside of the vehicle. We did pick up some beaten trail orange hats, as well as some vests for everybody to wear. You will find some mud pits here and there. At this time, they've been frozen over, but regardless, they are still a lot of fun. Again, our resident mud expert, Dante, has a lot of fun exploring. And this is Dante's favorite part of the ride, is seeing what mud and ice he can get through. And if there's something in the way, he will get out and move it. Five-wheel drive. It doesn't matter if it's a 40 pound piece of ice and it's in the way, he's going to get it out. Are you having fun on this trip? Absolutely. Yeah. Great time. It's a... Watching the clown show all around me. I know. Look at that. <laughs> Always entertaining. And certainly, nobody wanted Dante to have all the fun, so Gary and Shane also played in the mud a little bit. The soft shackles there, too. The temperature was warming up, so in the sun it wasn't too bad. Certainly not as cold as the first day was. Well, at least you carry a spare. And Josh's motto is be prepared. And so he has everything he needs for spare parts. In this case, a ball joint and spare ball joint. He had everything he needed and was able to replace it in the field. If he didn't have one, that would have been quite a long trip back. We continued on and just overall a great day. The sun was shining. It wasn't overly cold. Still, it was just great to go out and ride with friends. So Shane and Josh decided to take an excursion up onto the hill here. 
we tried to follow a little bit with the drone, but overall, just a lot of fun, and from what we can see, it was challenging, but entertaining. Thanks to Shane and everybody who shared their video with us. It was a great way to see, just from a different perspective, or maybe a trail that we didn't go on, to see exactly what the climbs were all about and the challenges that he ran into. this day we ran into about a dozen or so other fellow riders out there, a mix of ATVs and side-by-sides. Dante had arrived a day earlier than we did. This was one of his favorite little ruts that he found. He had to come back when it was refrozen and enjoy himself. Remember Dante, keep your hands and legs in the ride at all times.
also Gary had his camera going, so we had multiple angles. So it was time for lunch, and we figured we'd stop somewhere where we could clean off our windshields, get rid of some mud, and have a snack and just relax and chat about some of the trails and where we'd be going the rest of the day. When that frozen mud gets into the radiator, it really causes an overheat issue. So we carry our little pump, and we had Dante in the water and Doc holding it, and Gary, well, trying to clean his radiator, just sometimes it freezes up, and unless you have pressurized water, you're not getting anywhere really quick. So this is a great $30 little device that we use. We carry a few of them around, carry your own water tank, but in this case, the little pump that could, we just had to find a stream. And as the day went on, Dante found more places to enjoy himself in the mud and get a little stuck. Shane located a trail that went up the side of a hill. It did not have any markings or a trail number. Looking at the map, it was determined that there was a bypass that went around the mountain on the other side. Shane, Josh, and Adrian decided to take a ride up, while the rest of us went around. This would turn out to be quite a fun trail for those who would go up to it and give it a shot. As they would learn, it was some good rock skill climbing. Further up, it would get extremely muddy. Shane's rockzillas were working hard to hold on to the rocks and get some grip. These part of the rocks were a bit dry, but there was some mud up ahead. Adrian in his high lifter was having a fun time further up. another shot and gets further up the hill.
at this point we had radio silence and didn't really understand too much that was going on until we looked at the footage later Paul did mention this was probably not a trail that I would have enjoyed and it was getting pretty steep for Adrian We will continue this video in the next exciting episode. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon out there on the trail.